So my name's Ray Collier. I'm the Managing Director and the Chief Engineer of Tread Limited. We're a company that specialises in tyre and vehicle development and I've been coming to Idiada's Proving Ground in Spain for more than 20 years. I've known Richard for all of that time. Really? Yeah, that's right. And I think it's about time we went out in the car together and I showed you just why Should I come here so much. Yeah. Okay. Well, Let's go. Good. Let's do it. Idiada, in my opinion, puts the most effort into the surface quality of the track. And it's really important for me because what we do, when we do our testing, we turn the electronics off because I want to look what the tyre does right at the limit. When, when the safety's gone, when the customer's in an emergency situation. And one of the key points to that is this track has a lot of runoff. It's very safe. And also the actual quality, because he already put so much effort into the film, so the film depth, the water depth. You actually measure and constantly filter all the water. For sure. And then the macro structure of the asphalt. I know the, the guys keep sending um, these constant updates to friction evolution. Yeah, we do, yeah. Every month. Yeah. And for me, that's really important because some of our development programs, they last for sometimes more than a year. So that's really good when you have that meteor information. We can go back historically and get the data. And this really helps. And for me, Gideon's wet handling is the number one globally, not just in Europe. Yeah, you would say that? Number one. I would, oh, number one. Really, yeah. really got to hear that. We, we come here and we have a permanent box here and we push all of our clients here for that very reason. So we're going to hop down. I think so, Ray, you're the master. that digressive nature of the tyre. And you can't do that if you don't have the surface. We want to remove every variable. And if you don't have the facility to do that, I can't push the tyre to the limit. We do a slalom here. Yeah. You, if you go to other circuits, you can actually feel the change in the film depth. And the film depth here is really even. Even when we come around this corner, which historically tends to have a little bit more water if the aqua plane is on, you can see it's very even. And it's even more important now because a number of vehicle manufacturers, they're moving more towards low rolling resistance tyres, so they've got less tread depth and the compounding of the tyres is quite different, but you still need to have that wet grip performance. Now if your track has a load of variability and dry patches and then extra deep patches, this piece is virtually impossible. And I really like the way the spraying system is done. If we make a mistake, if I have a bad tyre and I go across the track there, I'm not going right. to damage anything. I can abort the mission, you know. So how are you finding the grip anyway? Because For me, the, um, the grip evolution has been very good. Obviously, test drivers are an absolute nightmare. You're never going to um, make everybody happy. The guys... Well, this is our objective. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just to try to you know, come to that... Uh... Well, you, you've got the guys with the high-powered moving drive cars, and then you've got the guys that might be doing something with a van. Now, your opinion on the surface is going to vary depending on the tyre. But for me, I can do what I need to do, and it's stable and it's stable throughout the development program. Well, we did a lot of consultation you know, before we did the resurfacing with uh, all the different users and the... Uh, yeah, I was tricky. involved, I was involved, and, and it's very good actually because that ability to give the feedback early on is great. It's all very well everyone complaining about something, but if you have an input to it in the first place, everyone gets well, what they want. We want to be as transparent as possible and whatever data you need exactly. to do the job, this is, this is what we have to track. You know, so. One of the things that's very important that a lot of clients need to understand is there's a difference between testing and developing. There's a number of tests you have to do for certification to get any mark on sure, a tyre. Sure, sure. They're mainly done on a drum. But when your clients come here and they have the ability to develop the product, that's what elevates them in the marketplace. And without the facility here, you can't do that. Even though there's other proving grounds in Europe that you can use, this one just turns it up a little bit more and everything that comes out here, then it's just that little bit better. What would you think about the uh, overall grip of the wet handling track? For me, like I say, the friction evolution is really good. I would, if, we, if we're giving it a, a pass mark of a seven, I would easily say that it's an eight. The uh, evenness and uniformity of the water. It is very important, the film depth, and it is completely stable all the way around. So again, for me, I, everything's got to be a solid eight. Safety on the track. This track, as I did mention in the video, it is a 10. We have the lovely runoff, but more importantly, safety is not only in the event of an emergency, it's 
it's very important that you don't damage parts of your test car, you don't damage your tyres. So for me, I'm going to give it a 10 for security because we don't risk the damage of the components. Well, thank you very much again. Great. Always a pleasure. Pleasure to see you here for many of the companies. Hopefully, take care.